In the not-so-distant past, I built this monstrosity. This is a, uh, well, I made the mistake of calling it a hover ship or a hover craft or a hover board or something for a long time, and that's clearly not what it is. It's definitely a airboat. Like, it's just, is a fan pushing against a rudder, and it goes across the surface. What I thought might be interesting would be to actually take the ideas that I kind of learned here with this and make an actual hover craft, something with like a, an actual skirt on the bottom that um, creates that air, air effect and, you know, actually is capable of semi-flying over the ground. You know, like kind of like a tiny, tiny hoover, like the little tiny whoop that people have been flying around, like where they convert their tiny whoop into something else. Um, so I've been thinking that that would be a good idea to try. Um, so I've got some cardboard, a knife, and hot glue, and... We're gonna see what happens. My plan is to make like the body. I'm gonna cut a hole in the middle, and I've got this motor with a with a three four inch prop that I want to dangle down into it. Um, this is a uh, 2207 2650 from uh, Hobbywing, and the the plan is to run it on five cell with the four inch prop. So it's pretty pretty good amount of juice available to it. I don't know how much power it's gonna need, um, and then you know basically create like a little duct uh, around it that sucks air down into the, the the skirted area so that it creates that ground effect and then we're going to add more motors and servos and stuff to the back out the back to to make it actually push so i don't know anything about scratch building i don't work with cardboard or anything like that but I th it seemed like a fun idea so i was just playing around with it it just started snowing outside for the first time this year which really sucks <laughs> but uh so yeah we're gonna build this we're gonna have some fun and uh let me go let me know what you guys think Problem number one. Uh, so my idea was to just mount the uh, motor with some, you know, a little bit of standoff kind of underneath there, like that. But there's too much flex in it, so it will like pull up like that. Can I see that? So I'm gonna add a second arm across from it to try to counteract that torque a little bit. Okay, so the next step I want to do is to solder it up. Um, I want to do that as I go because that's the part I know the best. Um, so I think I'm gonna add power distribution board to it. And I've got a big, uh, big old ESC downstairs. And then I am going to add a, another, just a multi-rotor ESC to the other end, like to the tail section and that will hopefully give me all of the control that I need. Let's find out. Like I said, I've got a big ESC that I'm gonna solder down um, and get that prepared. I've got a power distribution board that's gonna run power to everything, both ESCs, and then hopefully the VTX. I've got a FR Sky receiver here. It's seen better days. I should only need three channels anyway, so that's perfect. I don't even know what kind of receiver that is. And I've got another uh, motor for the prop. The same motor is, is on the bottom, and then I'm gonna steal an ESC off this. So let's get to work. Okay, the arm that will mount the other motor, the rear motor, is a little bit too long, so we're gonna dremel it out really quick. <laughs> I got to get a break for a few minutes, but uh, here we are. This is what we've got. I've got the motor mounted up the back. Um, it's currently a little bit too long for a four inch prop, or it's too short. A three inch prop will definitely fit, uh, but I can always cut out a little hole in the bottom there um, and make it really flush and nice. Um, but uh, I mean, the three inch will be, like four inch pushes this thing across the ground, no problem. So a three inch with no, um, gravity at all on this will be fine and I can always come back and make this bigger later if I need to. Um, so next I'm going to uh, add in the, the tail and the rudder with the servo um, as well as the receiver and we'll be getting pretty close. Um, then i got to do a duct. I've also got the motor wires for the uh, 
for the uh, the top motor coming down underneath, and I'm going to run them back up through the frame to the ESC, which is going to go right there. So I think that'll be pretty cool. But uh, for now, got to take a break. Okay, I'm going to try to rip out a servo from this old plane, which is actually most of the parts for that thing, but they're on this, or they were from this thing, so. Okay, we've got what should be a working version of this little project. Uh, we're just gonna try it and see what happens. So clearly there's something wrong with one of the motors, but I mean, it kind of works. Like on this side, I've got this knob here. Turns it up. It just changes the amount of throttle. And so like at a certain point, it starts to get pretty buoyant, even without any skirt at all. It's like it's a little back heavy, so it starts to spin. But like, it scoots right along. And then like this motor would behave. So yeah, not sure what that's all about. I don't know why the motor is leaking out on me. Okay, I'm gonna try a new ESC before I do anything else, because it feels to me most like an ESC issue, so we're just gonna start there and go from there. I swapped out the ESC. I think it's still happening. Okay, decidedly, I need more space to work this out. That makes me kind of sad. might have just uh, overdrawn the battery a little bit, having too much fun. It's not perfect yet. Adding the skirt is gonna help a lot because it's gonna distribute the air that's coming through the motor that's pushing, that's sucking down into the thing a little bit better rather than just like creating lift. So it'll help distribute that. I think I can use that skirt, I think, to help push some of that air to the back, right? So like the whole thing is pretty back heavy right now. Uh, especially with the battery on there. Partially just lifting it up. And it, I mean, and it, it is all coming up off the ground. Like you can, it, 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 it scoots when it's not covered. But if I then take it a step further and distribute the, the air that's coming through down here a little bit better, I think the whole thing will, um, will hover a lot better and not, you know, spin around and go out of control like it was, um, at least, at least not as much. I think we're on the right, right progress, right, right track. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to get that put together and see what that does. So let's go get to it. What I've done is I'm going to take a, just a normal garbage bag. And I think that if I cut this either square or cut it in strips and then make the strips, I want it to, I want it to kind of be tight over the top, but I also want it to have a little bit of billow so that it, it creates that, that, that cushion to sit on. So I've got to figure out how to make the cushion. Let's have some fun. Okay, I added the skirt thing and it's, it's got a little bit of billow to it, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, it's got a pretty big opening down there. You can see that it, you know, leaves some room, but hopefully it will kind of distribute that air pressure a little bit better and it will just kind of glide right across it. I have no idea if this is gonna work, so let's go try it. Is this gonna help? Is it gonna hurt? Is it gonna make no difference? I don't know, it seems like, it seems to me like it would create drag. One thing from early observations is it requires a lot less air.
The surface of my driveway is much rougher. So I'm gonna see if it works on that. I just tried pushing the battery forward a little bit, try to redistribute the weight. That seemed to help a lot. Check out, check out what I'm saying about like where it hits that sweet spot. Like there's a spot where it's obviously too much where it starts to go wah, 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 wah. And there's a spot where it's too little where you can see that thing is not inflating. But like at a certain point, you'll see the, the, the shroud just go whoop and it just sits on it and it rides. It's crazy cool. Let's see. So as I turn this up. So I'm gonna try to turn it real low. It's really a sense of... So it's too low there, because it's got some friction. There, there. Yeah, it's still sitting on the ground. Not really getting anywhere. But if I just turn it up just a little bit, you see that cushion inflate. And now the whole thing is just on glass. And if it was better weighted in the front, it would do a lot better. I can actually feel like air going back out there. And most of it's kind of coming up the front. I think that might even be a little bit too much. It just moves now. I mean, Pretty successful. Pro tip, don't try to fly your hovercraft one-handed. So I think as far as next steps go, I'm gonna have to, I think the first thing is I'm gonna have to redistribute the weight. So either with this version, if I decide to keep rolling with it, I might have to build like a little thing above here to like rest the battery right in the middle. So like that the weight is like evenly distributed across the whole thing. Um, you know, as I was playing with it, like I found that moving the battery for the, further forward here and pushing the weight more central over where like the thrust was coming through was help, definitely helping. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad or if it's supposed to do that. Um, this thing definitely performed better with the, the shroud on here. Um, so I was curious if something as silly as, you know, a <laughs> garbage bag would work. It looks like on the corners here, you can kind of see that the uh, they're starting to get a little bit... Um, chewed up from the edges. So I might want to consider like putting another layer of cardboard just really thinly along the bottom here to keep it all protected. Um, the My rudder, I did not do very well. Uh, you can see that the uh, edges, or that the, I put the horn like at the end of the thing. And so like it just does, it doesn't function as a lever very well, but I was just out of space because the motor um, would start striking the um, ESC at a certain point, so I just kind of had to do what I had to do. Um, I wish that this motor would not like wig out like it's been doing. Like you, you heard it kind of just like stutter. Like I don't, I don't know what that is. So I think I'm gonna try to find or buy another ESC that's not like a you know BL Heli 32, uh, something that just is simple and runs on PWM. That way the whole system will be a little bit uh, cleaner. Um, and yeah, so I think, so for next steps, and I and I don't know if I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to go straight to a version 2, rather than like trying to, you know, really hone this thing in. I would love to take this to somewhere where there's a little bit more open space. 
Um, I'm not ready to commit to trying it over the water, especially since this one is just made out of cardboard, not made out of like foam or something like that. Um, but like, I want to find somewhere like a really big open floor so I can really just kind of, you know, feel out how its performance is. Cause I'm just like bumping into everything in the garage. So, um, yeah, other than that, like, I feel like there's, there's way, way more than enough power here on this motor. Um, and then this one, I haven't really gotten to open it up much, but so far it seems like plenty, honestly, like it, once I hit the throttle, it just really, it really blips. Um, if my rudder was a little bit better, I think that would help. Um, but yeah, I'm super pumped about this. I don't, I don't think I'm even going to bother with FPV on this version, right? It's not, it doesn't need it, right? It's silly. It's simple. It's a prototype. Um, and I'll save that for, for a version two, um, we'll, where I'll make it out of foam and stuff like that and make it really good. So, uh, I hope, I know this isn't like directly FPV or drones or the story of drone racing or anything like that. Like I always talk about, but, uh, I had a lot of fun with this. It's a simple little project. I hope that, um, it inspires you guys to try something for yourself. So, um, yeah, definitely hit me up if you have any questions or if you're, if you liked it, or if you have any suggestions, um, very interested to hear them. Uh, but in the meantime, stay flying.